Hello everyone. Okay, so what happened to the the Nami Viper? I used to have a Nami Viper and I traded it for this. Wolf King um, Wolf King GT Pro. Sine wave controllers. Thumb throttle, my favorite. That's my favorite kind of throttle is the thumb. They also have the, the up and down throttle, they call it up and down thumb throttle which is you push you push it straight down this one's different but i like both and i like the twist throttle too but i don't like the trigger finger throttle okay so the way i learned about how what how much i like this scooter is i rode one at high speed and it was very stable and um i just like the ride i didn't want to um you know how selling something could be stressful? So instead of selling my my um, Nami Viper, and it's the one with the bigger battery, the 60 mile per hour, the higher speed, uh, higher voltage, no, higher speed, larger capacity battery, which is 60 miles per hour and uh, 100 mile range, estimated. I traded that for this scooter here. Now I know this scooter costs less, which is probably why the person traded me, and this needs work, right? What does it need? I don't mind working on a scooter, so I don't mind. To me, it's an opportunity to learn. So this was snapped in two places, see this? This is supposed to be, uh, these, are, these screw into this, but they're, you can see the, the screw is inside there, it's broken inside. It's snapped right there, it's a weak point. So, you know, temporarily I bought another one, but this is what they're supposed to look like. And I say temporarily because if that breaks again, or even before it breaks, I might just change it to a solid rod, a stronger metal, and then just have where, where the threads come all the way to the end. I mean, this would be, this would be solid, but at the end there would be threads. At the very end, it'd be threaded. That's my thoughts. Thread it at the very end, and then, then put a nut on the end, a big nut. That's my thoughts on that. But I like this so much, right? What do you think that is? What's this? Let's see if we can see what this is. See that? This is black. Go beyond. This is a black one. It's black and red. This one's black and yellow. Or gold. I guess that's a gold color. Is it gold or yellow? I don't know. So, what's going to happen to these scooters? That's a Dualtron Storm. This is his charger sitting on top. This is the Dualtron Storm. That's the Dualtron Thunder, the first one. Very nice scooters, but at high speed, like when it's full speed, these do not feel as stable to me. And those, these both have steering dampeners on them. See these steering dampeners? This has very good steering dampeners on there, on both of them. They're very good. And these are nice scooters to ride. They're built really well, but I like how this scooter feels at high speed. It is I, uh, the way I described it is rock solid stability. I mean, it is just absolutely, the steering is solid. It doesn't try to, to do the speed wobbles at all. And those scooters are both tuned. The suspension is tuned on those. People that know much more than me tuned them for me based on my weight and based on what I'm asking for, which is high speed and they don't want the steering to wobble. This one comes out of the box ready to go and I can go full speed with no steering damper on it. Now I opened all this up because I'm pulling the motor out because uh, I thought the bearings were bad on it, but I found out that this was snapped in two places, which was allowing the, these two, I don't know what you call these, these arms, it was allowing the arms to move like different directions like this, right? Instead of up and down together, when that snaps, I think they can go like this. If they, one can drop, 
right? And when it does that, it was causing the bearings to jam and grind. So I don't think the bearings are bad because if they were straight, it wouldn't do that. I would go back there and, sh and straighten the wheel and then it wouldn't do it. Um, so maybe the bearings could still be changed, but when the wheel's straight, it doesn't grind. So I think it was just binding the bearing by putting a side pressure on it when this thing, because this was broken two places, allowing those two arms to go out of alignment, I'll call it that, okay? But now that I already got it apart, this is what happened so far. This is, what, this is where I am right now on this. I damaged this thing, taking it out. This is a seal that keeps dust out of the, in, the motor, right? So there's a bearing in there, and this is the dust cover, I'll call it. Well, to get that off, I have to take the whole wire out. I thought about cutting it right here. That's one nice thing about the Dualtron Storm, is you can unplug the wire, if I understand it correctly, the wires can be unplugged right here. Very good tech, right? And this has the release of the battery that can come out. I like that. And that's what uh, they're doing that with the, the Wolf King GT. It's called the GTR. It's going to have a battery that can be released. Um, it's going to have a shock in the back instead of the springs. See those springs there? They're switching over to a shock, okay? With an actual shock back there, which reminds me of the Nami, the Nami Viper, the Nami Bernie Viper. Um, and then the front suspension on the GTR is going to be adjustable, so you'll be able to adjust it. But that's coming out next year, I think. Around next year. Maybe it's out now in some parts of the world. <clears throat> I don't know when Voro Motors is getting it. They might be getting it before then or around that time as well. <clears throat> but meanwhile, um, I like this so much. I traded the Nami Viper for it. Like I said, I didn't want to deal with selling the Nami Viper and then buying one of these, so I just traded. This needs work, but that's okay. I got to ride it still before it did this. Uh, those were probably broken already. I wasn't jumping it or anything. It looks like the brakes are old. So, And I heard the sound when I test rode it. I heard the sound. I knew it was doing something. I knew I'd have to work on it, but I don't, like I said, I don't mind that because working on things is an opportunity to learn. So I'm really excited about learning. So I said, great, this is even better. It needs work. Great. I get to work. I get to learn to work on it right away. And like I said, I, I took it apart. I liked it so much. Opening it up. I liked it so much. I like working on this so much. I just turned around and picked one up. See this? Go beyond. Are you ready to go beyond? Go to Voro Motors today and get your scooter before they run out. They run out of stock of these all the time. I think they just got new stocking because last week I went in there, they were out of this color. This is the black one. They had the yellow one in or the gold one, but today they had more in. <clears throat> so I'll be opening this up. That'll be a separate video. Okay, everyone, just letting you know, why did I go to this scooter? Why did I go to this? The stability at high speed. So if you're doing 25 miles an hour and you're happy with that, which I was for a long time, I was riding really fast scooters that can go 50 miles per hour that can go 60 miles per hour or more, but I wasn't going that fast. As soon as I started to ride that fast after a couple of years of riding these, as soon as I started to go faster, I said, wait a second, this is, what's happening here? What's the steering doing? Okay, I talk to people, I ride their scooters, I ride different scooters, I talk, people, talk to people some more, do some research. I said, I wanna try this one. Everyone that rides a scooter, even in the reviews, they get off the scooter or they stop and they immediately say this is very stable at high speeds. That's the first thing they say. Stable at high speeds. Now I understand what they were talking about. Wolf King GT Pro, everyone. Have a great day.